Well, okay, all right. Let's uh, take it to this again. Hello, guys. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hartung Family Farms. I just listened to Ohio Hawkeye touchdown. Go Hawks! Kicking Indiana's butt. Um, anyway, uh, today we're gonna be harvesting. Got everything out. Reference our last video. So right now we're just hooking up the. T8050 to the 882 grain cart. So let's get on her. Just got done washing the combine. Good old 2588. She's looking nice, ready to pick some corn. Mighty M, power washers for champions. It's awesome. It's 10, 1083 is ready to go. Let's see all this. Gotta make sure you don't make a mistake. Yeah, number six, West Virginia. Is that, that West Virginia too? Uh, I think it's an Irish. Pretty tough. Here's your two things for the, it's supposed to be up there. Spout in, spout out. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Do it! Do it! Do it! Pull out now and turn to the mic. Curtis, you wanna do it? Getting excited. people let's go There it goes. That's right. Now try the other one. Looks like corn's a pretty big gap. Or is that the separating section? This is your All right, Nathan, so what are we doing? Uh, combining. No, we're not. We're sitting here sitting, twiddling our thumbs. We're going to combine today. And the next day. And the next day. And then... We're going to combine two more. Easy. Don't hurt his other wrist. So Pat's just going to go out and check a spot where we can calibrate the co this combine. The other one's already calibrated, and hopefully we'll run. Here we go, folks. We're going to go calibrate this combine. Why don't we go take the grain cart out? Let's go, let's go. Oh yeah. Let's do it. Feels good to be back, ladies and gentlemen. Feels real good. So today guys, off in the corner there. So as you can see, we're bringing our feeder wagon out. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna calibrate our yield monitor. We already calibrated the first one, but then our second one, so how we do that is we first open up the field a little bit, which is Pat's going to do now, and then he's going to dump onto me in the grain cart. And then he's going to basically cut a, a cut a note in distance, so probably something like, uh, oh, I don't know, 100 yards or something like that. He's going to cut a note in distance, and then he's going to uh, dump that into the, grain, into the feed wagon, get the weight. So we're going to have a known distance, a known area, and a weight, and that's going to calculate our yield. And we're going to put that into our yield monitor, do that a couple times, and call it good. And that's how we calibrate our yield monitor, then that combine should be good to go, barring any problems. First corn through the 2588 this year. 
Oh yeah. Let's go grab Nathan. Let's go head back and dump him. First corn to the 25. guys so we're trying to calibrate the yield monitor and make sure it's still calibrated from last year and it's kind of messing up a little bit we're trying to figure out what's wrong so I'm gonna step off just kind of get an estimated distance estimated distance for what that was just telling it well basically the yield monitor is saying it's twice what it was so that's obviously not right or the disc the weight I should say so I'm gonna step it off and try to see if we can figure out what's wrong 6 37 38 39 40 41 42 this is a really nice year 50. Like really nice here that we missed. But still, good looking corn. All right guys, now that I counted off 310 yards, we're gonna basically get an area from it, and then we're gonna get that weight that we just got, and calculate the, the yield, and see if that's close to the yield monitor, what it was saying. So that's why we just did that. I mean, it was it's gonna be a rough guesstimate because I stepped it out. I'm not a football official, but I counted out in yards, so we'll see if that works. Sorry for you guys, it's hard to hear. It's kind of windy out right now. Corn's kind of leaning that way. The stalk's definitely brittle. So it's time to be harvested, but the ground's not too bad, honestly. 
We just gotta stay out of the low spots, and I think we're gonna run. Problem is we don't have people right now. Myself, Pat, my uncle, and Curtis and Nathan, my cousins. So if we had more people, we'd definitely get both combines rolling, but for today, we might just get the 12 row running close to home. So anyway, we'll head back and try to figure out this yield issue. 310 your steps? Yep, 310 yards roughly. Try the moisture. Three three. Point four point, three. Point four two seven. Okay, it's three hundred and four. Jeez. You think okay. it was three hundred bushel corn? Well then then we gotta take moisture. away the moisture factor. Deal with the moisture factor. Probably look that up real quick. If it was if it's twenty three percent, you gotta figure uh take it times like eighty percent probably. So it did three hundred and Five wet, so then we gotta figure out what dry is. Yeah. What's it saying? Show 23.3. Corn sprout. Got corn sprout and rotten corn. It's just spots. so freaking. Look at how wet it is. Yeah. That's not good. Time to fuel up, and it's go time. We're gonna run both of them for a little bit until Curtis leaves. He's got pictures today. And, but then we're gonna run the 12 row, two carts, and get that thing chooch. Let go. Gonna dump what I got on. And we're gonna go buying. Go time, ladies and gentlemen. There goes one, and here comes another. Go. Nathan's taking over for me. Here he goes. Have fun. <laughs> 